What do you think of when we say Paris? Maybe the iconic Eiffel Tower comes to mind, or perhaps the famous Pyramid at the Louvre. Or maybe you think of its cafes or artists roaming its streets. But what do these images actually mean to the people living there? And what makes a city's image vivid and memorable to us? In my research, I'm interested in how such images of cities are constructed through time and history. You see, I won't focus on Paris, which we know so much about, but I'm focusing on Little Paris, also known as Bucharest, in Romania, where I'm also from. The question is, how come we have such a vivid image of Paris, but not of Bucharest? And how is such an image constructed? We form images of cities through literature. Think of Hemingway, who wrote extensively about Paris. But we also remember and are fascinated by cities even before we visit them, through photography. The official photographs of Bucharest during communism were commissioned and approved by Ceausescu and the Communist Party. As they wanted to show images of prosperity and well-being, well, the reality was completely different. Hunger and the lack of basic resources went hand in hand with attending political rallies praising Ceausescu. That's why I'm interested in this tension between the protocol approved photography and amateur photography. Looking at both public and private archives helps us to understand what is fake and constructed and what it was really like back then. In these photos, we see people queuing for the ratio of milk or cooking oil, or people being evacuated from the metro station because Ceausescu was traveling by metro then. As part of my artistic research and in order to get a more contemporary image of Bucharest, I will go there myself to create my own imagery of the city using photographs, sound recordings and text, which I will further edit as short films entitled Bucharest the City Me. In this way, I hope to take you on an imaginary journey through a Bucharest never shown before.